Alright, so, three, two, one. Hello everyone, this is Ryan Rillis, and today I am playing, well, I'm not playing now, but I was playing, Rome Total War 2. Not Rome Total War 2, that's what I want to talk about. Alright, <laughs> let's get it straight. Rome Total War 2 is coming out later this year. I know some people watching this might not be bothered, and it's like, oh yeah, it's Rome Total War 2, I don't play that. I, for a fact, play Rome Total War. In fact, I still play Rome Total War today. But one of the things I never tried was online. I, n I never really had a go. It was th So this was sort of like my first match. I was just sort of like getting back into it. So I'm the Dacia. Uh, I got, as you can see, my army's pretty big. I've got some, uh, a lot of swordsmen and that. And I've got some extra dogs and orangers to try and sort of break their lines. But, um... It's a 3v3 match. Uh, I'm obviously, like I said, the Dacia. I think these guys down here were Numidians, maybe? I'm not quite sure. I know there were Numidians in the game. I know there's uh, Scrippy as well. But I was technically hopelessly outnumbered. Now, as I was doing there, as you guys could see, I got my, um, that, uh, this, uh, blah, 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 blah. the cavalry. I moved the, um, the light armored cavalry up. I, that was mainly for a scout. I just wanted to see what the guy had. I didn't really want to attack with them. Because as you can see, well, you saw he had a little pikeman, which would like take him out in seconds. So here I am moving my army. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't charge there, because you can see like I have no line. My lines are broken. There's like there's just nothing to my army. But thank God he still held back. My rangers started as you can see lobbing rocks at him. Uh, I think in the end I managed to get a few shots off with my um, cavalry, my arch cavalry. And um, I was actually just holding the line here. Like, and this guy decided to move. As you can see, he was a little bit scared. Now, as this is going on, I want to talk about Rome Total War 2 because I'm really excited for Rome Total War 2. The graphics look immense when they showed it. Like, literally, it's, like, better than Call of Duty. If you haven't seen it, I will put a link now, I think, if I remember. Now, somewhere on the screen. But, yeah. Oh, I, I can't wait. Like, there was a, there was a first one, which is a... a Testudo Forest, I think it was, or Titoberg Forest, and that was amazing. Uh, it's like just the graphics and how they've done it is amazing. Like they've spent so long on this game. But yeah, now as you can see on the screen, focusing back on the gameplay, I'm now moving my soldiers forwards. I don't, I didn't really want to attack because the thing is, is I was like he had pikemen. That, that that's all he needs, and the Dacians are pretty much screwed in a way. I mean, I had archers and orangers and everything, so I was using them. But uh, I decided in the end that um, everyone was going to rush this guy because ev all the, the scrippy eye people and the, everyone else ran over there. So I decided since we're going to rush him, hopefully, although I may lose a few men, if I just try and, like, you know, just deal with them now, it'll be fine. So as you can see at the top of the screen right now, my um, cavalry, I've sent my cavalry in to go after the archers to stop them from attacking my infantry because they, are, they were messing up my in infantry at one point. So that's going to get rid of them. The orangus is still hurling rocks at my men, well, at his men, but now my men are there, There's, as you can see. So I decided a minute to stop that. I think I go over there now. No, I don't know. But I do stop that in the end to obviously save men. I don't want to lose them all. And practically what happened is this guy just got rushed, and I was just sort of like, I wasn't doing anything. I didn't really do much this entire match. I was really just sort of being the backup. I did end up with the most, not most kills, second most kills, I think it was. So I did do something. I did get a lot of kills in that. But yeah, I was just sort of like lobbing rocks over there, trying to hold him. But yeah, so here I am, uh, keeping up the lines, and that guy's getting defeated. But yeah, Rome Total War 2, I mean, they're going to have everything that they had. I mean, there's Empire Total War. I don't know whether to do a video on that. I made a video on that. I haven't played that online either. This is my first Rome Total War 2, Rome Total War 2, Rome Total War online match. And the only reason why I did it was because Rome Total War 2 was coming out, and I thought, what better than to talk about Rome Total War 2 than play the original Rome Total War? I mean, why the hell not? And there's still people playing it at 2013. I'm still playing it at 2013. So, you know, here I am. Um, but yeah, I can't wait because, like I said, they're, they're going to have the ship battles that they had in Empire Total War. They're going to have uh, land and ship battles. So you can actually invade with ships. So you can have a ship battle going on to land, going on to onwards from there if you get what I mean and you know it's just it looks really good I I can't wait for it like I mean they did I don't know when the release date is I know it's late this year 
But I imagine they'll probably do the same as everyone else, and like you know, do it late Christmas, near Christmas, near Christmas, yeah, near Christmas. That way they get more money, and it's a Christmas present, and this, that, and the other. Now this is the part where I've still got all my men, and I decide that I'm going to go and help against the um, the Scrippy Eye, I think it is, or the Brutey Eye, one of it, wherever, wherever, I don't know. I can't, I couldn't really see the color of the Romans, but yeah, um, because we dealt with that guy. Uh, again, the problem was with this was. If you look at the bottom left of the screen where the map is, just to the right, you can see the bar. Now, there is a very little blue and then a lot of red. That technically means we are outnumbered or we are outmatched by a formidable amount, like a hell of a lot of amount. I think it was actually worse than at the start of the game, so it's actually improved a little bit. But yeah, so to be honest, we went into this without thinking we're going to win. We have Armenians, Parthians, and Dacians. And you know they're just they're just against like to be honest, just them against Romans don't tend. I tend to find them against Romans don't seem to match. But yeah, so here we are. We're like still moving forward. I decide to try and make a line, you know, move them forwards again. Again, just strolling. I don't want to tire out my men because I wanted at the end if there was any scraps that I need that we need to clean up, I wanted my soldiers to be ready to clean up that scrap because obviously the last thing we want is to get right to the end of the battle. All my horsemen have run away, and there's a guy with horse archers just running around, and he eventually wins the game by shooting at me while running away, if you get what I mean. So, I decided I wanted to save my um, men as much as possible. I was communicating with the guys during this. Um, uh, we were talking, well, when I say talking, typing, we were, uh, we were like, planning routes around and that, and we were planning who was going to attack who. At one point, there's, like, us attacking the archers. Like, we all did a combined attack on the archers with our men. I think they had elephants as well on the enemy team, which uh, you don't actually really get to see till the very end, but they did get quite a few kills. That guy died. What's funny is I think I get a general with a um, with an oranger on this, actually. Keep an eye out for that. I remember my oranger lobbed a rock and I was like, oh my god, I w uh, that'd be so funny, because I was aiming for the generals as well, because I like to like obviously get the general, you know, sh shock. If you kill their general, they're going to be like, oh wait, one sec, our um, chemistry, what well, about chemistry, happiness, whatever, is going to go down, you know, we're not going to fight if our general's dead, run away in fear. So here I am, look, again, still my army's sort of, well, that's my small part of the army, the rest of my army's fighting. I mean, my general is like, still at the start. I didn't move my general or the dogs, I think it was, the general or dogs didn't move for like, until like the very end when we were dealing with archers because again like I said like I don't want my general to be killed because obviously that will bring him down and obviously I'm already at a disadvantage the last thing I want is even more of a disadvantage so um so here we are we're still moving forwards still very slowly crawling forwards my orangas are still blowing the crap out of them I think the orangas on this was a good choice Originally, I wasn't going to get orangas, but then I thought, like, you know, uh, I, well, at the start, I didn't even look to see who it was. I just saw, like, uh, three people with, like, tribal nations, and I, I wanted to use, like, the House of Julii, or, you know, like, Romans to, like, do Roman. But I felt really bad, like, if I just charged in there with, like, Triarii and all this, that, and the other, and then everyone else had, like, little tribal teams. So I decided to be, uh, Dacians. I mean, they were just, you know, I just saw them. Look there, that was that was me, that was me. I think the guy types lol in a minute, actually. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, my um, orang has actually got a general, amazingly. And these guys, these guys look, look, they're just getting slaughtered. I had archers lobbing over at them, I had uh, the orangers. In the end, I just looked at that big pile there and just said, orangers, just lob as many rocks in the middle of there as you possibly can, because you're going to get, like, shit loads of kills if you just lob anything in there so um yeah then I decided to move forwards as you can see so because I, I felt like bad that I wasn't really doing that much I was I was obviously doing stuff I mean like over in over there with the Numidians it's just every now and then I briefly go over there and tell my men what to do but then eventually I surrounded them uh, obviously like I said before like they're war band and that and they're not very well trained I tried to train them as much as possible but I didn't have enough money I mean, I could have just had, like, five gold people, but then, like, you know, it doesn't work like that. You need to have a range of, like, different... Because, you know, you get certain money. If I went in there with five elite swordsmen with gold in it, 
when we come against like I don't know cavalry or archers, we're gonna be like screwed. We wouldn't even stand a chance. So um, it's always good to have a range and like I said, just get just get something abnormal every now and then, like orangers. Try and like break their lines and everything. And to say this was my first match ever on this, like well first match online on this. It went pretty well. I mean, I could have gone a lot worse. I could have got humiliatedly defeated. But I was actually one of the people who came out at the end with, like, you know, without being destroyed. My team won, and I lived for it all. So, yeah, so we, so we get, like, moving forward, as you can see. And then the guy came and helped me. The guy had Parthian. Uh, the Parthian guy had um, their armoured horsemen, which are freaking tanks. It's unbelievable. And then uh, the Armenian guy, he... I never really saw what he had, but I'm pretty sure I think he had a lot of armoured horse as well. But not like not like uh, the, Parthian, uh, the Parthian one. It was just like heavy cavalry. I mean, the Parth Parthian ones are just... They, they should just call them tanks. Like, literally, they, they're just bloody tanks. So, as you can see, we're still... Uh, we've managed to surround them, and we're dealing with them there, as you can see. I'm just checking up on my men, because some are retreating. Um, I couldn't really do anything about that because my general was like at the start. I mean, I could have tried, but then again, like the ones that are running away aren't my warband because my warband, although they are terrible, like at everything to do with fighting, when it comes to horsemen, they're literally just like, um, you know, they're just they're like spearmen, aren't they? That's pretty much what they are, and spearmen are just amazing against horsemen. But yeah, as you can see, my men are still alive. Uh, here, as you can see now, these are all the archers. In a minute, yeah. So this is when we did a conjoined, a conjoined, a full-on attack on the archers, and we just, I just literally got everyone, including my general, to go in. And my general smashes these guys. He literally, he just charges in, and I, all of them just run away. It's ridiculous. I mean, I don't know whether these guys like soften them up for them. I have no clue because these guys seem to die straight away because um. I think there's actually some armoured, not armoured people, uh, swordsmen there, which I didn't see before. But yeah, but um, still while that's happening, my men are down the middle, just keeping everything nice and cool. Because <laughs> now this is the part where the battle was sort of kind of over. I mean, we all did our fair bit. I mean, what what happened was uh, the, the other two just sort of like held off the other army and then helped me with um, the Saludic Empire. Oh, I remember what they are now, the Saludic Empire. Help me with the Saudi Empire. Then when they were done, I came over. I split my forces in half. Half of them are dealing with these guys, and then the other half dealing with them guys. But yeah, here look, look they all run away as soon as my general, uh, my general unit gets there, and the dogs as well. Let's not forget the dog. But yeah, so um, as you can see, the we're, we're still like hanging around. Uh, the the Numidian people. That's what I was gonna say. God, it took me ages to work out. Then Numidian people are still alive. Uh, the guy had um, uh, heavy camel. I think it was. Yep, heavy camel. And uh, he was he had them like dotted around a bit, especially near the end. He had them on this hill, which is behind where the camera's looking now. It was like back over there, and um, it was just sort of just milling around. It was sort of you know, time wasting, like I said, like th that's the reason why I wanted horsemen or something, so that if that did happen, I could just go over there and kick his ass. But yeah, so, uh, here's when our final battle, I guess. I was gonna like, throw my men into the fight there, but um, it was already done, I didn't have to do anything. They're up there on the hill, as you can see, there's the, they're the camels that I was on about. They just, like, just sat there, like, literally. In the end, I just got my orangas to just open fire on them. I mean, I didn't kill many of them, but I think I killed a lot of people in the second group of the camel. So as you can see, it was all going really well. So this is the part here, as you can see in the top left of the screen. Uh, everyone started saying good game. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Uh, because uh, I think some of them were defeated. And if you look at the blue bar at the bottom, uh, where my arrow is now, yeah, it's, uh, it's much better. Well, not much. A little bit better. But you know we're at, we're actually winning now. We're even though we were severely outmatched, we're winning. So we uh we get we kept pushing forwards a bit more. My my men were sort of milling around. Well, not those guys. Those guys were like just there. 
So as you can see, like every, 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 they're the only last two of that group, I think, of the mediums. Oh no, it was them and the elephants. I don't know where the elephants are at this point. I think they're over there somewhere. But yeah, uh, it was them and the elephants. And to be honest, after this, this is part where we we won. We we won. Uh, all it was a matter of was just finishing the match. So um, here we go. We go and like deal with the camels. We like kill them all. Like deal with them all. And then over there, as you can see, just at the top of the screen, there is the elephant. And, um, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. So I'm just going to, like, let you see the rest of the match, I guess. I'm just going to stay quiet for a bit. Actually, no. I won't stay quiet. Oh, wait, wait, I don't know what happened this bit. I got a bit confused. But, yeah, um, <laughs> so... Rome Total War 2, again, I can't wait to come out. I mean, I played the campaign. I hope the Grand Campaign, or whatever it is that they have on this Imperial Campaign, is as good as the first one. Like, because the Imperial Campaign on Rome Total Wars are amazing. I could show you my one. On my one, I have the Romans that have, like, taken over pretty much everything. But the only problem is I have bloody rebels appearing in my, like, bases and that, you know, my um, towns and cities. I can't deal with rioting on this game. Like, it is ridiculous how bad I am at rioting. It's like every five turns there'll be a riot going on somewhere, no matter how low the taxes are, how advanced the people are, how healthy they are, you know, just, it just doesn't matter, they just get pissed off at me just for being Roman or something. So yeah, let's take a look now. So, yeah, here's the elephants I was on about, these guys were just wallowing everywhere, like, I, I didn't know where they were. For half the match they were just hidden, um, but yeah, they bring them out here. And I'm not really that worried because, you know, I've got like an entire army like waiting to deal with them. And so is that other guy, look, that other guy comes around. And it's just like, you know, it's just there's no point in his elephants even being there. Look, they're all going to get owned. Yep, look, run away. Run away, elephants, run away. I'm surprised these elephants didn't attack. These must be like really crap elephants. Because I know the Carthaginian elephants on this game, like the heavy war elephants, which are no, they if they are pretty much tanks as well. Those those things, those armored war elephants. Wow, it's like unless you like run into some Tiarii or some like hot plates, you're fine. Oh, so here we go then. Uh, this is the end of the match. As you can see, I got quite a few kills actually. I mean, I thought I did pretty nap in that game, and so did some other people, but I did really well. And um, so thank you for watching, please comment and rate if you want more, uh, and hopefully you guys are going to look forward to Rome to War 2 as well. Goodbye!